Welcome everybody to Squiddy's Shit Guide on How to BDO. This guide is going to be answering the two questions that most new players ask, which are as follows. How do you make a lot of money or how do I make money fast? These two questions are incredibly common and there is no easy answer to these questions at all for, for a lot of reasons really. Just to name a couple off the top of my head, the question would be how much time do you have in the day how much money are you willing to spend on the game what are your interests in mmorpgs what class do you play and how efficiently do you play them and so on and so on all the questions i just asked are valid questions when you try to answer the main question as to how to make money i could just give you a shit answer that you hate because it's not your style or i could give you an answer that makes no sense for your gear score or your level if you're going to ask this question in server chat then you must understand how the game works in order for the answer to make sense to you and that's what this video aims to do to help you understand how to bdo let's go ahead and get started first we need to establish the importance of the central market. If you are unaware of what the CM aka the central market is, it is the core basis to BDO. It's where you buy items for life skilling, it's where you buy items for your gear, it's where you buy your gear, it's where you buy items to enhance your gear. Almost everything, if not everything, you do in BDO is related to the CM in one way or another. See, there are many roads you can tread in Black Desert. You can be a filthy life skiller that avoids PvP at all costs because, you know, reasons. Or you can be an enhance for profit guy and ruin your self esteem and sanity trying to enhance gear past duo and watch it blow up. Or you can farm rarish items for hours and hours and hours and sell them on the market for a smallish profit. One way or another, you're going to hate yourself and the road that you walk down. But this at least gives you the idea that you have options to hate yourself with. So at least you don't have to pick something that you totally hate. You can only pick something that you somewhat hate, which is great because all of these options flow with each other. Grinders need life skillers in order for them to provide food buffs and potions for grinding or even PVP. And life skillers need us grinders because we're too lazy to make those pots and food for ourselves. Without each other, we lose profit. If no grinders are buying cron meals and potions, then life skillers are just cooking to cook and it serves no purpose and without life skillers us grinders lose out on powerful food buffs and potion buffs that increase our grind speed and damage in pvp or pve as for enhancers well they're just kind of shitters that do everything for themselves mostly but at least they buy our memory fragments to repair their broken dreams so even they need us to provide some kind of means to their gambling addiction there are obviously subsections to each of these ideas but that would take forever to explain so let's just stick with the basics now that you understand the rules of BDO, it's time for you to pick which one you wish to go down. Keep in mind, you don't absolutely have to pick one thing and that's it. I myself dabble in just about everything because I like options. If one thing gets boring and I just don't want to do it anymore, I'll switch to another one later on. As a new player though, you have very little contribution points and energy to start with, so life skilling is sort of out of reach minus the cooking and whatnot, but you can still make it work. This just means you need to do the quest line to gain some startup money and early contributions so you can build life skilling if that's what you wish to do. Even with that though, life skilling can still be a daunting task without the proper setup and nodes with the worker empire. So I'll refer you to my shit guide from forever ago that still holds up to today for beginners. Don't take it at face value, but it does at least give you the core basis of how to set up a worker empire. If you want to go more in depth with it, I'll put some links down below that you guys can check out. With life skilling and empires kind of out of the way for the moment, that leaves us with grinding, which will allow you to earn some skill points and levels while also making a little money on the side. Keep in mind that when you're doing some early game grinding, you will not see big numbers in terms of money. Most grind spots will yield 10 to 20 million at max for the AP you are, which should be somewhere around between like 120 to 200, so just don't expect the world of it. The top grind spots for those AP brackets are going to be Gaha's Bandits, Polly's Forest, Desert Nagas, Crescent Shrine, and Blood Wolves. I guess also Tashira Ruins, but I kind of just always forget about it because I just, I never look over there, but you get the point. Grinding will be the main source of income until you build enough capital to invest into life skilling if that's what you wish to do. This means cook's clothes, gathering clothes, fishing clothes, etc. Almost everything in BDO is a massive investment, so get used to having to build up a certain capital investment just so you can buy what you need. It's going to suck because you're going to spend maybe hundreds if not billions on gear, whether it be for life skilling or for actual grinding, but it will pay for itself over, over your course of playing BDO, so just don't worry about it. You're going to take a fat L whenever you spend that much money, but at least you will be able to do 
but you need to and pay it off slowly. If you want to make a lot of money cooking, well, you're gonna need the clothes that speed up the process while also putting a lot of time, or just the time investment, keep in mind, to gather mats and process them as well. Life skilling is a long-term grind versus a grind session. You most likely will not see a return on the investment until a week or two later once you've gathered and processed everything. With grinding, you will see a faster return on time investment, but it's all done in real time and can be very draining on your mental state to the point where it's unhealthy to actually do it every day. The last part of this is enhancing, which ultimately this is where most of us end up at endgame. Just so you grasp on what I mean, at the best grind spot in the game currently which is star's end in my opinion you can pull a distortion earring which is worth a little over 230 million it kind of just you know drops down below and a little up so just we'll just basis you know 230 they are also a rare drop and could take hours or days for you to actually see one drop without the earring you're looking at about 60 to 100 million in just trash loot depending on your efficiency and time spent there this ties in with ap tp class stuff like that so Kind of hard to gauge, but I think 60 million is a decent base point. Now, one of my next upgrades on my Berserker costs literally 40 billion silver. I'm no math wizard, but I would need to spend an unhealthy amount of hours at Star's End just to reach that number and it would take me legit forever. What this means is grinding is not feasible to do when your next upgrades are far into the billion ranges. That's why enhancing for profit exists, though it's trash, but it, at least that's the only option we really have. I don't know, it's, it's kind of shitty to talk about, but that's the truth. But as I mentioned, this is now my only option to start making money fast enough to reach my next gear piece without spending an eternity trying to grind for it. Even with life skilling, this process would still take me months to perform, but it would be somewhat marginally faster because the return on investment is a lot better. In my opinion, life skilling is in a good spot right now and grinding is kind of trash. Even though life skilling is better, it's still just an annoying process to me and I'm not a huge fan of it. Now as a beginner, you need to set up an enhancing process, which I'll refer to a video down in the description so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Honestly, fuck enhancing, I'm not great at it and I don't feel like I'd give the right information. However, the TLDR would be you need some Reblath at plus 14 and some Grunel or any other green piece of gear realistically at Pry to fail stack on and then you need a lot of armor and weapon stones and the idea is to build a fail stack large enough to increase your percent chance to get the next level into your gear. An example would be from Pride to Duo on console, we typically send it on a 20 fail stack and hell, I don't even really do that myself. I just kind of send that shit raw and if it goes, it goes. If it doesn't, well, that's a lot of money down the toilet. But that's the general consensus of enhancing. But once again, as a new player, you need to make money to build the capital investment so you guys can go ahead and even start building this nonsense or else it's just worthless information to you. Whether you grind, life skill, or enhance, you need to invest into something. That being gear for better grind spots or better gear for life skilling so you can level up faster and process a lot of more improved rates or to invest in an enhancing setup so that way you can try and make some money from gambling your sanity away. So in conclusion, what is the fastest way to make money? You fucking don't. So stop asking. Yeah, she knows. Yeah, she knows. I don't need.